Girls, I just woke up in probably the worst mood ever. Um, I don't know why this has been happening so much lately. I really need to get to the bottom of it, so I decided that a bubble bath might help start my day. Sorry, yeah, I work hard, yeah, yeah, I'm bossing. Got the powder in the range, can't stop me. Here's to the ladies on the ones who lost it. Stress on me, cause my angels here, they got me. I, I just want to take a minute to thank you girls for all the positive, supportive DMs you sent me. I think there's nothing more powerful than feeling like you're not alone when you're struggling. And so many girls messaged me saying they feel, they feel the exact same way. They're like, oh, word for word, everything you were saying is how I feel. And I've never thought anyone else felt that way. So I just want to read a few of the messages of the girls that, that um, DM'd me. There were so many nice things that you girls sent me. I've read through so many of them and I wanted to just take a minute to enjoy this bubble bath and try to start my day in a positive way. Even though it's so hard right now, I haven't figured it out. I feel like shit. Like my head feels like it's compressing. Like I'm like, just want to go back to sleep. That's all I want to do, but I'm going to fight it because we are fighters. So um Erin Drum sent me a super nice message she said um I appreciate that you opened up about it I personally struggle with depression and anxiety my favorite bible verse always reminds me that our troubles are only temporary it's Romans 8 18 and the verse is for I considered for I considered that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us and that just like makes me feel better because it makes me feel like the picture is not so small and it helps my perspective kind of open up a little bit. Um, Kat Companion said, I don't usually reach out to someone that I don't know, especially that has a big following. I don't want to seem creepy, I swear I'm not, but I saw your YouTube video and I almost cried because I feel you so much and you're not alone. I've been following you for a while and I just want to say thank you for showing all sides of your life. I'm very goal-oriented and routine-oriented and during this tough time, it's very hard to see a silver lining. We're all in this together. Take it a day at a time. You're doing great. Super nice message. Helping me feel better right now. Thank you. Um, Lana Golinka. Golinka. Said, hey, Cambry, watching your YouTube video now and crying along with you. I'm relating to everything you're saying when you're speaking about feeling so low. I've ended up in that same place mentally as well. And it's absolutely the most painful thing because nothing traumatic has happened. Nothing has changed from my day to day. But I can't have to feel this awful weight pushing me down. I don't know whether it's due to hormones or just completely random, but it feels impossible to fix. And that's exactly what I'm feeling. Nothing specifically has changed in my life. Nothing happened like dramatic, but it's just this feeling and this weight on my brain. And it's horrible, but it's so nice to hear that she's felt this too. And she also said, we're in this together, all of us. Even though it feels like no one else is there for you, we are here. As much as it hurts, I have no doubt when we both look back at this time, we'll be grateful for it. So super sweet. Um, and then the last one is from Caroline. She said, I watched your last video and I just want to encourage you that Jesus is the only one who can calm your fear, anxiety, and everything. He wants your heart. And I am a believer in God. And I think that when I think about God, it's so much bigger of a picture and it helps relieve some of the pressure. I don't know why or how it does that, but when I think about like heaven and angels, it kind of, it just lightens my I think my aura or my spirit, whatever that is, it helps me feel lighter. So I'm gonna think more about that. Um, the last comment I'm gonna uh, DM I'm gonna read is from Rosa Mag Mavonga. If you girls also want to learn something about me, I'm horrible at spelling, and I'm sure you've seen that in my Instagram stories and pronouncing things. So I, I always have been, and it's. An issue that I have but spelling is very difficult for me so hi I just wanted to say that your video really empowered me I never thought that you'd have to fight with those things because you seem so powerful ambitious independent beautiful and a successful woman I thought because I have depression too I could never be as successful as you are but your video empowered me so much in the right time and you're really a person who I look up to and I just want to say thank you and love you you're such a gorgeous human being wish you the best so sweet 
and I really wanted my video to show you guys that people you look up to struggle. Nobody is perfect. And um, I just wanted to show that side with me, share that side of me with you guys because I'm all about bonding with you girls because this is my life and I want to feel close to you guys. So I'm just gonna take a bath, try to get out of my po try to get into a positive mindset. Um, reading those messages helped me. I'm gonna start like thinking about God and bigger picture things because when I feel like the world gets too. But after I get out of the bath, we're having um, a chef who cooks healthy food come to help teach me how to cook some food during quarantine, some good meals. I'm really good at simple healthy meals, but I want to elevate my standard a little bit for at-home cooking. And he um, is going to come teach us some things, and I'm just going to share those things with you guys. I think it's because I put so much pressure and expectation on myself. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to try to keep moving through the day, find a solution, and I'm committed to fixing myself so I can help you girls, if you're struggling with this, have some help, because I think that this is going on with a lot of people, especially after seeing my messages and comments, and I want to lead the path of finding a solution, so I'm just going to keep working at it, but I'm going to get dressed and then we're going to cook some food. See how I feel in a little bit. Can you train you more than you've ever done? You're mentally tired, physically, you're changing your food. There's so many changes going on in your life. You have a company that you're running, followers, vlogs, you know, people's opinions that obviously affect you. And it's good. I mean, they can have their opinion. I'm just saying like, you have a lot, a lot of things in your plate. I don't know why, like when I get like this, I just want to push everyone away. And like I actually, I just want to be alone in a room, dark room. Well, because... And I'm fight, fighting to not do that. Like today I'm fighting to not do that. I'm here whatever you need, but obviously I'm not qualified to help you. But I think like if you were a therapist talking and also understanding that you have too many things, like not too many, but that you have a lot of things in your plate today. I think that the, be the, the first step of you taking your feelings, because I think that you have feelings right now, and those feelings right now, they're making you very sad. And now you've acknowledged it, because some people are just in denial of depression, and they, don't, they can't accept it, because it's scary to accept that. I think that your vulnerability and accepting how you feel is like a huge step. I think now you're recognizing that drop, and now, what do you think is the first big step and responsible step you can take? I think I just, I don't like knowing, not knowing how long it's going to last. Like, am I going to feel like this my whole life? No. Like, I can tell you one thing. But, but, I, but I feel like this often. Like I have moments of happiness, but underlying I have all of these feelings. Okay. I think that this feeling that you currently have of conflict and obviously of instability, you're acknowledging it. But how does it get better? Through therapy, help. It's not going to get better. And that therapy and help will take you to make actions and decisions. But it's like I spent my whole life, say, working on my fitness. And it's something I'm going to work on the rest of my life. Yeah. It's the same with happiness? my mental of and happiness. But no, look at me. Fitness, it's an effort at first. But then it becomes a habit. Just like you build the bad habits that make your mentality go in certain directions automatically you're gonna build with consistency positive habits that immediately take your head into those positive places but the pursuit of happiness it's a life's work 
Just most people are. It, it seems like too big of a task to even start. Well, okay, I agree, but it, it's like, not. You know why? Because it's on how you approach. It's a mentality. It's a, it's a mentality. It's an approach to life. So when your mentality changes, look at me. This mentality just goes through every single aspect of your life. But the mentality needs to change. Don't be so hard on yourself. Give yourself credit for all the huge things and steps that you've taken, huge steps that no one knows. That's what pains me the most. This has been a behind the scenes work of your happiness for the last, I've seen it for at least six to eight months. Daily work. As soon as I go pick him up downstairs, you can go start getting ready. And as I come here up and he's sitting up, you can get ready and take your time. Okay. I was able to just get a little bit ready. I'm in this super casual attire, but the chef Dan is here and I want you guys to meet him. So guys, this is Dan. Hey guys. <laughs> and nice to meet you. he is the master of all sorts of food that you guys are gonna see. He has to teach people how to eat good food, but also enjoy what they're eating um, while not giving up their fitness goals. So that's the biggest thing. I've always seen that many chefs cook very unhealthy food and many fitness professionals don't know how to cook. So this is a healthy variation for every single recipe. So wow. even when you're dieting, you can still have certain types of pizza. You can still have pasta. My mouth is water. You can still have water. your steaks. Yeah. <laughs> I always like to tell people I lost most of my weight um, by eating steaks and chicken wings. I think my slogan for my company, one of them is um, healthy never tasted or felt so good. Yeah. And that's the thing is you want your lifestyle to taste good and that's right. why I love your food. Last week he made us lasagna, healthy eggplant lasagna and so we want to do like healthy takes of food for you guys to kind of favorite yes. things. Today I really want to learn how to make a steak. I've never cooked steak before and yeah. I have no idea how I'm to I'm going to show steak. you guys how to make a steakhouse style steak at home without having to go to your local restaurant and pay $100 for it. I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect steak oh, yeah. with three easy steps. It's going to be replicatable. What would you say are the secrets. healthiest oils to cook with? Extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, or ghee butter. So we are going to go over how to make the perfect grass fed steak. Oh, yeah. So definitely um, when it comes to steak, grass fed is king. It's super important to get in the right type of steak. We want to avoid our steak being soggy. We want to avoid our steak being overcooked. We want to avoid our steak being just like no flavor. There's just most of cooking the steak comes in how you cook it and not the seasonings we're going to use, which is very contrary to belief. It's like douse it with a bunch of seasoning. It'll come out great. No, all we're going to use is salt. Um, pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. That's all you need wow. and it's just the perfect steak. So we're just gonna take a regular paper towel. Now you're gonna see that the steak comes out of the package pretty bloody. Um, so we wanna, we wanna dry that off. So we're patting the steak dry. Just kind of wrap it. We're getting the steak one? nice and dry, yes. Okay, so why does it need to be dry? So it needs to be dry so that when we put it on either the grill or the cast iron, it's not watery and that's how we get a nice brown crust. I take a little bit of olive oil and just kind of put a thin layer. Just Sorry. treat it right and cook it right and it'll give you all the flavor you need. How did go and get in on my own now? So I like the way that it goes now. Goes on. Yeah, wanna fall like Mike. Yeah, in your ear like Tice. Ay. Meet me out tonight. Yeah, niggas love the bike. Yeah, niggas drippin' swag. I got all the bags. Shorty poppin' tags. Yeah, and I'm movin' fast. Oh, that I don't crash. I be movin' fast. I put that bitch on the low. I need my ice to be froze. I put some rap on my toes. My niggas never gon' fall. I tell those shorty to slow up. Then shorty froze up. How to get it on my lonesome. Then shorty chose up. Oh, no. Oh no, said I gotta go now, go now Girl, you need to slow down, slow down yeah. Oh no, oh yeah. now I swear all these rappers sound the same, I can't stand it Hop up in a foreign car and then I vanish Can I have lunch? Uh, 
This is my first time trying jicama. There's perfect substitute for potatoes. They're just lower carbs and lower calories when you're trying to tighten up your fitness goals. So, mm -hmm. how is it? I mean, it's totally different, fresh, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I know last time you had to reheat it, so like, yeah. this is a totally different experience. Mm -hmm. So Dan <laughs> normally sends us our food um, on Monday and then so that, we reheat like, yeah. it, but he's here cooking it fresh, so it's. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to eat this. I'm just going over my last YouTube video, some emails, and then snacking on a. This is a full cucumber. It's one of my favorite snacks, just when I'm. Just wanting to eat something just to eat. And a gallon of water. Hi girls, how are you? I've missed you dearly. The first thing that I'm gonna do this week is get tested for coronavirus just because I feel like it's the responsible thing to do. Um, it'll help me know if I've had the virus, if I haven't had the virus, if I'm contagious, if I'm not contagious, see what steps I need to take to be responsible for myself and the people around. Me. There's a local place right by our house that does the test. I'm sure that there's one probably hopefully by your house you can look into it and get that done as well. I think it's about $200, which is pretty pricey, um, but I think it's definitely worth it right now. So that's where we're going to start and then we'll see what the week, what happens. Pinch my finger really hard. Oh, awesome. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm sorry. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. There we go. I think I went a little too hard with that pinch. <laughs> <laughs> you will be done in two seconds. Lucas coming super fast. Can you see it? Yeah. Uh-huh. You are very strong. You feel my hands sweating? They're sweating. Is your back sweating? Perfect. Usually the back is what? So we just got tested. I have my little band-aid. We're gonna get the results back in 24 hours, but Alfonso does the cutest thing. Whenever I get my period, he gets me a little present because he's like, it's so hard to be a woman and he just wants to help like have have me be excited about something because it's definitely not fun to have your period and I realized I got my period today which I don't know if that's contributing to my mental stress I'm like I'd be very embarrassed if I was just hormonal the whole time but I, I don't think so I don't think it is because it's like I know when I'm hormonal but I, this is meant more mental I can feel it might be a little bit of both but definitely there is um a mental component going on because I've had this for many years but he had me wait in the car while he goes to get me a little present and I'm gonna show you guys what that present is it's the sweetest thing ever he like all he wants to do is try to help me move forward and if you guys have girl girlfriends boyfriends if you're looking to date don't settle life is hard enough as it is you need somebody to help lift you up and not add more problems to your life unfortunately I'm a place in my life right now where in this relationship I'm more of the one bringing it down and he's the one lifting it up but I really want to get to a place where I can help lift him up too so I really want to work on myself and figure this all out so I can be like a light to him and my family and you girls um, because I am a little bit of a mess these days how long just five five minutes okay because my phone's about to die Ten, so, so, so look 15 minutes 15 just yeah 15 <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go try to find a little parking spot while he's doing his thing. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. You need to park so you can open. I am parked. <laughs> no, this is not parked. So you can take your time and open it. Wow, the box is gorgeous. I'm gonna get my period every month. <laughs> Which are perfect for Miami. And I've been needing a little bit of jean shorts. I wear like a lot of the same clothes because I don't like spending money. I've, I think I've worn this t-shirt I'm wearing right now like 
for three years. <laughs> this t-shirt, how cute. This t-shirt I'm wearing, it's, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's turned yellow from like sweat. And I just can't throw it away. I can't buy a new t-shirt. I just can't do it. All right, I've had it with the complete disastrous toes and fingers. I love having like clean nails all the time and this has just been crazy. So Alfonso and I went to the store and got everything we needed to do pedicure. So that's what we're gonna do. And eat some sushi and watch a movie. It looks so good on you. It's like actually looks amazing. Alfonso's growing a bob. <laughs> hey, just call my line. Baby rocking with me, she just call my line. Hey, just call my line. I already know that I'm on your mind. I was all on sauce and serving packs. I just wanna run it like a track. Where were you when 12 was on my back? I was 20 on a scene with a bad bitch. My fingers are finished. I really tried the hardest I could and they're a little messy but the whole technique <laughs> that's exactly how they do it <laughs> all right girls i'm about to go to sleep but before i do that i just wanted to say that you can work out as hard as you want eat the most clean perfect diet but if your mental health is not in a good condition none of it is worth it and you're also going to plateau and that's something i've been seeing with myself so i really am making it a top priority of my list to make sure that i'm Good mentally so that I can reach all of my life and fitness goals and um, I'm feeling a little bit better just processing all the feelings that I'm having before I just would go numb and now I'm just like feeling through it so that's gonna help me and then the next video I want to really show you guys exact steps you can do if you're feeling like this things I've been trying this week with that said I wanted to do an army of angels takeover which is one of my favorite things to do because I can see how you girls are implementing fit with Cambry lifestyle into your quarantine and I think it's really interesting to see how um, girls transform their lives by applying some of the tips that they've seen in my videos and on my Instagram page. It's really, really cool and powerful to see. And I love to watch them. So this is one of my favorite transformations because you can see how lean and strong she's gotten. And her testimonial is super, super powerful. So I hope you girls enjoy. So I wanted to share my story about my weight loss journey. It actually started in 2016. I studied abroad in Italy. I also went through a breakup that semester and I started birth control that semester. So it was honestly, I think, a combination of these things that caused me to gain a ton of weight. It ended up being like 20 to 30 pounds. I never had to worry about my weight. I was always tall. I was always skinny or leaner and I never really had an issue. So when I gained all this weight, I literally didn't know what to do. So flash forward to 2017 towards the end of the summer of that year, I actually started getting a lot of stomach pain to the point where I had to go to the hospital and they told me that I was starting to develop an ulcer in my stomach. If you don't know, this happens when you have a lot of anxiety and you're super stressed out. And it was also causing me not to be able to keep food down. I was binging and then, you know, throwing up because I couldn't keep the food down. I wasn't eating the right foods. I was super drained mentally, physically, obviously, and emotionally. So it was in that summer that I finally made the decision, enough is enough. I have to get healthy, like I have to figure this out. My body is clearly telling me that whatever I'm doing now is not working. I decided to move to New York at the end of the summer. I decided to start eating healthy and just working with whatever I have. A few months later is when I actually discovered Fit with Cambry on Instagram. I kind of knew how to eat healthy before I had, had trainers in the past, but finding her Instagram was literally the boost that I needed to push me to keep going and it honestly gave me the upper hand because before you know I was eating healthy and losing weight but I kind of peaked or so I felt I was getting pretty stagnant but finding 
Camry's account, it was insane to see all of these girls eating healthy, working out, and actually seeing results. So I decided to order her products. I ordered the protein powder and I also ordered the fit kit. I got the bands, the sliders and everything. It took me probably a year, but I ended up getting all of the weight off and more. I wasn't skinny anymore. I was actually strong. I actually have abs now, which is like the most insane thing ever because I've never had them before. I still use Cambry's products today i still use her protein powder cambry's account honestly was a lifesaver for me and when she came to new york i actually took one of her classes as well and she's so down to earth so real and i honestly think that's what we need for me you know doing it on my own was extremely hard it's so hard when you don't have accountability but Cambry's account allowed me to find a place where I could have accountability I could have encouragement awesome tips you know to keep me going so that I really could make this a lifestyle rather than just you know a seven day detox it's really become a part of my life I still enjoy my life I still treat myself I honestly can't go back to eating unhealthy I really don't want to go back my skin is amazing now i sleep so much better and there were just so many things that i didn't know before cambry who really you know just opened up her life to all of us so that we could all kind of come on the journey and join in it's honestly been the best decision i've ever made i've had multiple friends who have jumped on this train with me after they've seen my results now they have her products now they're doing it it was seriously the best decision i ever made for myself and i know a lot of my friends feel the same way after seeing how much their bodies have changed and how they feel that's my story cambry is amazing and i still use her products you know i wouldn't change anything i think this journey has taught me so much about myself so thank you cambry and thank you guys for watching. I am inspired by her body change, her mindset, everything about it. And I, I love when I get inspired from you girls. It's like we have a little cycle going on where I inspire you when I'm on my good days and then you inspire me when I'm on my lower days. So I really, really love that we have a community that supports each other, that lifts each other up. And I think it is just so powerful, everything that's going on with the army of angels. And I think that if you are open and wanting to transform your life, now is the time. Now you have time on your hands. I hope you girls are staying safe and healthy during this quarantine. It is a crazy time going on. Thank you for all the people on the front line risking their lives for us. And I hope that we can make it through this better off than when we started. It is a time for us to focus on ourselves, figure out our things mentally, physically. And the Fit with Cambry is a support for you in your life right now. And I hope you girls can feel that. Make sure to subscribe to my weekly free protein powder giveaway. There are three steps to enter right here. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. I do daily IG stories. So I will see you girls next week for my weekly Sunday night video.